We've seen a steady stream of video showing exploding e-bike batteries in recent years. Delays. Now there is finally With a flurry of legislation meant to respond so. to the lives lost, including a 19-year-old girl and 7-year-old boy two weeks ago in Astoria. It really came about from an obscene amount of tragic and often fatal fires that we were seeing. Council member Jennifer Gutierrez has produced the latest proposal, a task force that would come up with a plan for storage and charging of e-bike batteries in a safe manner at hubs outside of homes, where most batteries are generally charged now. You know, homes not really being equipped to do that, and that's totally understandable. So now the city's responsibility is to invest in infrastructure so that these people, not just delivery workers, often people who are taking e-bikes because the MTA is too expensive, that they have that option um, available to them. Department of Transportation Commissioner Udonis Rodriguez told the city council Monday his office would work with the council member, but that the mayor's administration does plan to fold in some of those charging and storage efforts into existing plans to create micro mobility centers and delivery hubs. We are in the process to do the work. We know Mayor Adams and know we understand that, you know, to have more charges across the five boroughs is something that is important. The council member says she will keep pressing with her plan for now, and it's not the only one being considered, including city subsidies for safe battery purchase and a requirement for safe battery storage. The city does already require that all batteries meet certain safety standards, but illegal and cheaper batteries are readily available online, which is where the federal government comes in. We cannot allow for faulty or improperly manufactured batteries to keep causing these dangerous deadly fires. This past Sunday, Senators Kirsten Gillibrand and Chuck Schumer rolled out legislation that would increase safety standards for batteries allowed to enter the United States. They stood with the family of eight-year-old Stephanie, who died last September when the battery of her father's e-bike exploded while they all slept. The batteries can kill your family in one second. To underscore the scale of this problem with some more FDNY stats, they say there have been about 400 of these fires in the last couple of years, claiming at least 15 lives. From City Hall, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News.